Hi and hello everybody, this is Adamo's DM, and today I come to you with another unboxing. Um, you might say that, because I just bought today my first set of miniatures from Warhammer Age of Sigmar. Mm, here they are. Mm, okay. Uh, these are the Death Rattle Skeleton Warriors and uh, here are the paints that I'm gonna use to paint them but uh, that's not gonna happen today uh, in today's video. Um, I'm probably gonna paint them today but uh, I'm gonna post that video later. First I'm gonna uh, unbox them because this is my first time ever buying Age of Sig Sigmar Minis. Uh, it, it's generally my first time uh, buying any unpainted Minis which are not from WizKids. So uh, you might say that I'm not too, uh, too experienced with, with, with miniatures in general. If, if I only had uh, contact with with whiskets but uh, and you would be right if you if you said that but um, today I'm changing that and uh, yeah why why age of Sigma if I never played it uh, first of all I'm gonna play it uh, soon I hope <clears throat> second of all they are uh, the same scale, the same 28 millimeter scale as uh, the D&D miniatures and I think their bases are also one inch so uh, I can always use generic skeletons in a game of D&D and they will always be somewhat useful. Okay, I, I just unpacked it and this is how it looks. Um, yeah, so, okay, I, I didn't know that they will, I knew that they will require assembly, I didn't know they would require so much of it, okay, this is only the first one, the second one's here, uh, so there are two of those, how do you call them, hmm, no idea. No idea how to call them, uh, but I think I see generally more body parts than 10 skeletons, because it says here that there are 10 citadel miniatures uh, here, it says, it says it here on the box, but uh, this looks like it has much more body parts. Uh, I would say, yeah, but it it definitely has 10 of those lower, uh, like, legs, so, yeah, uh, so probably, okay, I can't speak, that's, that's official, I can't, I can't use words, generally, okay, but I can see. 10 of these, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 torsos, and I'm quite sure that there are too many hands, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, there are definitely too many hands, and I think there are some some more skulls than that uh, that I'm gonna use, which is amazing, cause cause they can always be useful. Okay, so um, this looks kind of amazing. I know I should use clippers to to free those individual parts. I'm not sure I, if I have clippers. Uh, I'm gonna have to check it before starting. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> 
So basically, uh, this set provides me with 10 miniatures and it cost like, in Poland, uh, it cost about 70 zlotys, which is around uh, 15 or, or $17 US, uh, I think. Uh, it's not like, like I know the the value of a dollar, cur current value of a dollar, but uh, yeah, it seems like a good deal. Uh, they cost less than than the D and D miniatures, and I hope they're not gonna be uh, hard to harder to paint. Mm, yeah, but that's what I'm gonna find out real soon, and I am gonna update you on this. Mm. Okay, there are also bases here. Uh, yeah, just round flat bases. And uh, I think this is called a war scroll. Yeah. Yeah. A war scroll for, for skeleton warriors. Uh, An instruction. It says, read this first. I will, I will do that before. Oh, this is so, this is gonna be so useful. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use it. It's gonna help me assemble the thing. Oh, and, okay. Is this the, is this the same? Yeah, I think this is the same scroll. Uh, okay, doesn't matter. I'm not gonna uh, use it right now to play, I'm just gonna assemble it and and paint it today. Uh, but that's gonna be all for today. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video.